Hello and welcome. I'm Rebecca and I am a homeschool mom of two kids ages 11 and 9. We use a morning basket in our homeschool and for December it looks completely different than it does any other time of the year and I wanted to share what we do for our December morning basket. What we do for the holiday season is different than our normal homeschool throughout the rest of the year. And one of the main differences is that we do a lot less history and science and a lot more geography and culture and reading together as a family. Because our morning basket flows out of that, the contents of it changes. Instead of choosing a hymn from Happy Hymnody, we will just focus on Christmas carols. We will choose a Christmas carol. We will read a little bit of history about it and then sing it. And we will not choose one per month like normal. We also won't choose one per week. We're just gonna each day sing a Christmas carol. So we'll use that as a resource. I will use a hymnal. We purchased this hymnal in honor of my grandmother and as part of her funeral process. And so they gave us the hymnal. So I have that. And then I also grabbed this off of our shelves in case we get to the Messiah and we want to read about Handel. Next, I'm going to just add some read alouds that we have. Mary's First Christmas. This is basically like a chapter picture book. So it's pretty long, so we read that over a few days. This is the gift of the Magi, which we also read that. And then the Lion, the Unicorn, and me. This is the Advent devotional that I'm so excited to finally be getting to with my kids. We have this as an audio version on Scribd, and so we are going to listen to this in the morning and then... We'll keep this because this is just reviewing Bible verses that we're learning. So we will learn, focus on learning Luke 2. And that will be our main focus. And then in addition to all of the resources in this basket, we have games that we will play. So we have this Charlie Brown Christmas board game that someone gave us for a gift. So we keep get this out at Christmas. And then we have these card games that we just play as a family. Hymn that tune, hum that tune, charades, and Christmas Who Am I? We have our dreidel that we painted. We have a Christmas memory game that was a bundle that I purchased at one point. And then we have Santa Claus Go Fish. So we will just pull these out as we're inspired to play games and we have crafts. So on days when it's cold and we're just sitting by the fire and um, have an afternoon or while we're listening to Jotham's journey in the morning, we have a whole bunch of crafts that we can do. So our library kindly provided this book page ornament as a take and make a couple weeks ago. So I grabbed that and collected it in case we wanna make an ornament out of old book pages. I have these glass ornaments that the kids can put stickers on or acrylic paint inside and shake it up to, to mix up paint inside of it to make a pretty mixture. I grabbed these on clearance last year and I've been saving them in case the kids wanna paint a nutcracker while watching the nutcracker. And then I have this mother of all Christmas craft tubs. And so there's just, there's like, fake snow, pom-poms, bells, stickers, paper. I grabbed these at the Target one spot. So it's like snow, trees, wreaths, candy canes, bigger trees. I have got collected these over the years. Ribbon, I mean, there's just stamps. It's just this whole, and I just pull it out, put it out on the card table, and let the kids have some freedom on just making whatever they are led to make. I found these at the Target one spot. They were $3. They make a snow globe ornament. So I got one for each kid. And then I found these little finger puppets at the Dollar Tree. So we'll just pull these out periodically in morning time while we're listening to our books and make crafts. 
in addition to the books that I have put in the morning basket, we also do the advent books where we unwrap a book a day. I love doing the advent books. It is something that my kids love even more. And so I have actually organized these based on dates and what we're doing those days. I know a lot of people wrap them and I did that for a year or two, but just really felt like that was a lot of time and resources. And I have actually done a video on how we do this. The abbreviated version is take a piece of fabric. I've got two different fabric kinds. So each kid has their own fabric and they know that it is theirs. And then simply wrap it up. And then take a ribbon. You can do this with any book. I've collected all of these books over the 11 years that I've been doing it to learn which ones I wanted to buy. But in the beginning, I did this with library books. Just wrap it up, hand it to them like this. They unwrap it. I now have the fabric ready to go for the next day. And we're not wasting a lot of time. It took me no time at all to wrap this. And it's good for the environment because we have no paper waste. Just a nice simple thing. And my son knows that's his fabric. And so that's what he'll open. This is my daughter's fabric. So each child has a book that then goes inside our morning basket and each day they open one up, I take the fabric and we do it again the next day. To say that I am excited for morning basket this December is an understatement. So I would love to hear what books you love to read in December, picture books you've just discovered or old favorites, crafts you love to do, or food recipes that you have just tried or think are really awesome, music that you love, any of that. Please feel free to leave it in the comments below. I love getting new ideas. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.